Moving on to the next section, that is the sales quotation in the transaction. That just gave the quotation to the client. We are giving the quotation amount here. So you can just select the quotation number and whether it's cash or party. If you have to add any a party, you just can press the plus button and give that. And the pricing level here, we are having several levels of pricing. That level of pricing can be selected. And the salesman, you can just select here. And if you want to add any new salesman, just press addition button and add it and currency is selected as rupee and here you are giving the product details if it's a pen you can just give the quantity you own it and which batch it belongs to so i'm giving the batch number here and down you can see whether approved button so if you just give the approved button that quotation is approved the total amount you can see just save it so that quotation is approved out there and after exiting that just go to the register portion and just take the register of the sales quotation so in the register you can see all the details of the quotation that you have given and all approved pending buttons you can see. So if you just pen, uh, press pending and search it you can see all the details of the quotation which is pending. And approved if you just go you can see all the details which are approved. And according to the quotation number you can just edit it. Just go to that and double click it. So you can see the details of the quotation number. And just edit you can edit the quantity. If you get edited, you can see that in the total and just press update. So it is updated successfully. Next, if you go to approve.